welcome in everybody. Thank you. Thank you, God. I give you the glory and the honor. Let me testify. Come in. God is great. God is so great, my brothers and sisters. I greet all of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I just want to testify what happened to me just now so that somebody can be encouraged and know that God never fails. We, you know, I was coming back from London and I, I flew back the same way I came in from Stan States. I got on the plane. We were there in the plane. The plane starts going around on the runway. I will come all of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Sissy one. Hi Sissy Snee. Hi Sissy Chica. Hi my darling sisters. The plane was on the highway, my sisters, on the runway. It's just going around. And I was feeling frustrated the whole entire time because I miss my boys and I'm not used to leaving these children like that. And I just wanted to get home. So the, the plane stopped at a certain point and the, the cabinet came. Before he did that, I was waiting. So it was like an hour sitting in the plane almost. And in that moment, I downloaded the playlist already of about one hour, 20 minutes of gospel music. Then it helps me to pray because of my ears. Then I, I concentrate praying without my ears feeling like they are being popped. You understand? And that's how I started praying. I started praying. You know, God, that if I've not seen you today, nobody should ever tell me I've not seen you. I prayed, I prayed, and then that man made an announcement. He said, we are not going to leave now because the plane has a problem. The plane has just given indication that it has a problem. So we can't fly. We have to wait for the plane to be checked out. And that's how we went back in that plane and I called Papa Rukafir. I was frustrated. I was like, look now, we waited long and now they say the plane has to go back. We can't leave straight away. Me, the one who has to come home, frustrated. But the one who has to see me home, he protected me. That plane stopped. God made that plane stop. Those engineers came to touch the plane. I was still praying, praying in the, in the plane, praying, praying. And when they finished, they said, we are going. Just before they said, we are going, I heard God say, don't be frustrated. I stopped it for you so that you can arrive home to your children safe. My brothers and sisters, me, that plane, I'm telling Papa Rukafina now, I say, I know, me, I know that Jesus stopped that plane for me. <laughs> you will never forsake your own. Hosanna, you are a covenant keeper. You look everywhere to make sure your own are fine. Even when I doubt sometimes, you show me. You know, when I heard that, I couldn't stop crying the whole plane way. I was so sleepy because I've not slept. If you hear my voice, I was I was overwhelmed. Let God do that for me. And in my heart, I was looking at all the passengers in there and I was like, if all you people you did and you, my father has preserved our lives, all of us. And in my heart, I boast with joy. I said he preserved all of you because his own is sitting with you people in this plane. God, your love is so big and great that nothing can ever say or describe it. People tell us stories we don't believe. God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob. Now, my God, we 
when men tell me that you are not a real God, when those who have money and think they carry life in their hands think that you are not there, me, you preserve my life in so many ways. And today, you showed off and show in again. Show out that the way you are, the King of Glory, who you are. You stop the whole play. Because I am your, I am your own. To the day you will come. Jesus Christ, I am your own. And I know you work. And I see you working. Every time that I doubt, I remember you stopped a whole plane for me because you love me. When I tell you that I love you, I will not tell you. I will show you every day how much I love you, God. I thank you. I just wanted to share this. I just wanted to tell somebody because it's like a movie. They say Nigerian movies. No. God of Victor. My sisters, I'm thankful to God. When somebody says something to God today, tell him thank you for me. And you people should never doubt that you're alone. <laughs> You should never ever think that you are alone and when you have a personal relationship, I will keep seeking a personal relationship with God. And when I know what God is doing now, He's reuniting revival around the world. And I might say that I'm so humbled that I am somebody has chose because I have to fly again this month a whole lot of times. Europe, Africa. It's only America that he has not let me come now. Because he's doing mighty, great things. Can somebody say thank you, Jesus? Jesus! Jesus! Uruguanka! Thank you, Lord. I am safe with my family. I want to thank you, dear Heavenly Father. Dear Lord, I give you all the honor and the glory. I praise you. I magnify you and exalt you. Father, you are worthy to be praised, Abba. You are to be magnified, worshipped, glorified, and exalted always. For there is no one who moves and works in the way you do. Even when the engineers could not see where the problem was, my father, he gave sight to the passport, to the, to, to the, to the pilot, and the pilot could be able to see. I thank you, Lord, for preserving all of us in that plane. It was a full plane. I give you glory and honor because it is not our life, it is yours. For every mother, child, father, woman, man you saved in there. Jehovah Jireh, Lord God Almighty, my Father Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I thank you and may every one of them in that plane, even when they thought it was just a technical problem because we live in a world that we don't see how you work. I know. And anybody who was in that plane knows it was the grace and the mercy of God. I thank you, Lord. I give you glory and honor. I exalt you and I magnify you. I lift you and I worship thee. I have no words but to say thank you. I have no much to give but to give praise and glory. Honor that you deserve. Thank you for preserving my life. Thank you for bringing me back to my David, my big David, my small David pastor, my evangelist Peter, and my apostle John. 
thank you, Lord. I thank you that even when I was frustrated in that plane, through my husband, you, you already showed me the delay, but I didn't want to accept it. And through your power, you were already manifesting in Peter because of the uncomfortability. My son is a child, he can't speak. But you even speak to children. Jesus, I don't need a prophet. I don't need a spiritual mentor, Father. Holy Spirit. You are the eye that I see through. Jesus, you are the eye that I see through. You have become my eye, my ear, my everything. No, God, Daddy. Never forget what you've done today. Because no man can do that. 